Hello, this is RM from A3QZ TV, and today we're looking at Aladdin. Let's play Aladdin SNES Part 1. Okay, let's uh, load up the ROM here. Just saying, this is my first time playing a game like this and doing this, so let's hope it turns out good. From Disney, I'm sorry about the lack of audio, but it's the best I can do with this hypercam. For now. Welcome to Agrabah. Here we go, loading screen. Sorry about the distortion. Okay, let's play the game. First level is fairly simple. Just run through here. This game plays a lot like parkour. You just run through, jumping on guys to take them down. Keep running, jumping. Here, this part's pretty simple. But w the important part of this level is just grabbing on the pegs to swing. Here's the first secret of the game, as, as you might call it. There's a heart. Boost your heart it's up one. And then here's a one up, which is good because you have to start the game over if you run out of ups. There, I just fell onto my peg. These are snakes, which you just jump over. I, mean, I realize some of this is really uncoordinated, but I was using the joystick iPod app, and it is really good for what it is. Okay, make sure you get those guys whenever they pop up. The flying bugs, I believe scarab beetles. Yes, they're very good. I'll explain that in a bit. The archers can be really annoying. Just deal with them. Here's the end of the first level. Nothing too hard, no bosses, no falling. Pretty simple. I'm just going to save this point here. And thanks to the scarab beetle, I get a bonus game. Here we go. The trick is, it's called break time. The trick is, when his eyes, you press the button once to get it going. When his eyes blink, I'm supposed to press stop. Didn't quite work that way, but he doesn't have anything bad on the wheel, so it's not like you can mess up. If you get the genie, which is what you want, he gives you a new heart, which they're very rare to get. The giant heart just fill, refills your lives, and if you have full lives, doesn't do much. Star, star just gives you credit, which I will get just now. There we go, now I got four credits, which means when I lose, Every time you run out of all your lives, you get a new credit to continue from the beginning of the world. Okay, here's world two. I will proceed to lose a few times on this level because this is the transition level between difficult and capable. It's the first, yeah, I know it's the second level, but it's like the first, I, I don't, I, there's a lot, you'll see later, it's hard. <laughs> Don't know what the scroll does yet. I'll get back to you guys on that. Now, because I was in protection mode, I did not get, or whatever you call it. I don't know, it's in a bunch of video games. Uh, yep, okay, got him. Climb up here, be careful, because I fall there a lot. Okay, guy with the barrel, just clear that. Stop him, yeah. Okay, yep. Just some nice jumping, not too hard. More archers that are annoying. That one didn't see you. That one hurt you because you, if you, this guy is really tricky. He usually costs a life. You have to swing, land, then swing, and you can hit him. And if you don't take out the archer that's right in front of him, then he will shoot at you as well. This is the second one-up secret. Not so much a secret in the first couple levels because it's obvious. Okay, yep, that was trying to switch to the computer controller, which didn't work, obviously, as you can tell. Okay, yep, just jump on him, grab your one-up. Ah, I was still figuring out the controller. Grab the one-up there, which is nice, because if you do lose here, you can get your one-up back. Yeah, and then that archer gets me in the head. So, I will respawn, and I will just pause for you, trying to get a cheat code in here, but I didn't. Okay, back from that little lost break. Fast forward until where the part where I actually beat the level. Okay, yep, just 
yeah, the guy hurts me, but, yeah, you know what, I do with him. I switch back to the joystick now. Joystick is cool. If you're not familiar with it, Google getjoystick.com. Check it out. It's what definitely worth it. Okay, just avoid those guys. That's always cool. The jumping sequence there. Yep, just gonna play it safe like I did last time. Jump up, climb up these steps slowly for some reason. This was an SNES game for those of you who may have missed out. So I I did play on the SNES. I got rather far and I enjoyed it and I wanted to share it. See how this stuff works. Okay, here we go. Got past this part now. Okay, yep, just trick that guy into getting you. There we go. See the archer is shooting us now. Now we will continue to walk. Just climb up this here. Okay, here's the tricky part that I lost that last time. Watch carefully. Okay, hope you're enjoying this video while I do this. Just like to say shout out to my friend ShubinV77. He was the one who started doing his Donkey Kong Country, so I decided to do this to kind of go along with it slash compete with it. So, if you watch this, give him a call. Your net call. Watch his video. Get him some hits. I will rate it, rate his video well. Rate mine well as well. They're uh, both good as I go, and you should check it out. Here's the next level. A difficult jumping because my ROM was being glitchy at this point. Don't know. Controllers were hard to. Okay, this lo this. Level 1-3 is what this is called, though this game never refers to them like that, so you won't probably won't see that in too many places. It is completely above the ground. I don't know if you remember if you remember the movie or if you've seen it. They spend a long time running above the surface. Thank uh, they spend a long time running above the rooftops. Thankfully, in this level, they give you a lot of food. Bread is worth one heart, and tur chicken, turkey, whatever it is, is worth two hearts. If you you can play it safe, probably, and not get hit by those guys, but you know sometimes I get yeah ducking usually works if you move after the archer shoots. Now that one was a tough fall. Make sure to remember that. Now I'm gonna go down here and grab that piece of bread. Remember, as I'm not recording this live as I'm playing it, some may be off, don't know. This part, yeah, I'm going to ride on this. I'm not going to be able to get up to the top there, but I will ride it. Here we go. Climb in there. Yeah, if you, there's a way to get up there. But remember, this isn't a walkthrough. So, th this, is a wa it's, this is a walkthrough, but this is not... This is just for the casual gamer, not the gamer trying to exploit everything in the game. I, mean, I guess I might come back and do that later, depending on how well these is received or not. Just depends on you guys. There. Okay, got this jump. These are pretty sweet. It's like classic gaming. Don't remember that from the movie. Might be in there, might not. Okay, World 1-4. I'm going to just say the dash, because... It sounds right. Okay, see how, I don't know if you'll notice, but if you scroll back or whatever you guys do to the first video, the city has now, or the first few minutes, the city has now become darker. It's twilight. If you remember from the movie, this is when Princess Jasmine sneaks out and tries to give free food to one of the little children. And there she is, being tormented. I'm just going to save here in case I lose. And then, here we go. This guy is annoying. You can't stand in the barrel, he'll cut you. This is a lot like, I guess like a lot of the Koopas in Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario, Bro Super Mario World in the bosses. This is a boss level. Yeah, basically, you can't jump on his head, unlike Mario, but you can't jump on his head until he attacks you. And when he attacks you, you only have a split second to do it. I mean, he makes it pretty obvious. He's not a hard boss. It yeah, that was a control glitch there. And then when he corners you like this, he gets annoying. I'm just going to clear that. Probably could have stomped him, but... 
And you only have to hit him four times, so it's not like it's a big deal. Here we go. This should be about the final time. Okay, yep, captured him. Just walked to the other side of the screen. Just gonna do a little cutscene here. Aladdin meets the girl, keeps running. They run off into the sunset. Just gonna save here real quick. Okay, here's the password. If any of you are just not sure if you're going to get in the game, you think you can handle all that, you can skip it. Don't recommend skipping it, because this is uh, kind of gliding easy through levels. But Okay, here's the storyline. I hope you all can read. I can read the font here, so I'm assuming you guys can. Kind of skipped through it fast, but <coughs> anyway. I'm going to leave you guys with a nice cliffhanger at the end here. Dragged them off to the palace, Johns and Jasmine, back to her father, the Sultan. Left you guys with a nice cliffhanger there. And this is RM from A3QZTV, signing off.